Hello, my name is Erin. This tutorial shows how to use automatic scrolling in Adobe Acrobat and Acrobat Reader. Specifically, we'll look at how to turn on and turn off automatic scrolling and how to combine automatic scrolling with full screen mode. Before we begin, you may be wondering what is automatic scrolling and when is it useful? The automatic scrolling feature automatically moves your PDF vertically on the screen from your current view to the bottom of the file. Automatic scrolling can be used at any time, but it's particularly useful when viewing long documents or giving presentations. This feature can even turn Adobe Acrobat and Acrobat Reader into a temporary teleprompter because you can control the speed of the scroll while you use it to read aloud to a live audience or record a video using separate software or a camera. Today I'll be using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. The steps are the same in Adobe Acrobat 2020, Adobe Acrobat 2017, and all updated versions of Acrobat Reader. In addition, the steps are the same for PC and Mac. You can use automatic scrolling within the normal view so you still have quick access to menus and the navigation panes. To begin, select the close button for any open toolbars because automatic scrolling is not available when a toolbar is open. Next, select the view menu, followed by page display from the drop down menu and then select Automatically Scroll from the submenu. Your PDF should begin to scroll automatically. Press the number keys 1 through 9 on your keyboard to control the speed of the scroll, with 1 being the slowest and 9 being the fastest. You can also press and hold your trackpad or click and hold with your mouse to pause the scroll as necessary. In addition, you can still use the horizontal and vertical scroll bars while using automatic scrolling. When you stop using the scroll bars, the automatic scrolling will start again. To end automatic scrolling, press the Escape key on your keyboard. Note that if you don't press the Escape key, the automatic scrolling will continue until it reaches the end of your PDF. It won't return you to the beginning of your PDF, so if you need to return to the top of a long document, you can enter page number 1 in the page number text box at the top of the screen, followed by the Enter key on a PC or Return key on a Mac. Now we're going to use automatic scrolling with the full screen mode. Always enter full screen mode before turning on automatic scrolling because if you attempt to enter full screen mode with automatic scrolling already turned on, the scrolling will stop. To begin, once again select the close button for any open toolbars and then select the view menu. From there, select Full Screen Mode. Alternatively, PC users can press Ctrl plus L and Mac users can press Command plus L to turn on Full Screen Mode. Once you're in Full Screen Mode, PC users can press Shift plus Ctrl plus H and Mac users can press Shift plus Command plus H to turn on automatic scrolling. Your PDF should begin scrolling automatically within the full screen mode. When you're finished, press the escape key once to end the automatic scrolling. And press the escape key again to leave full screen mode. I have created many other tutorials about Adobe Acrobat and Acrobat Reader, including 
how to open links in separate tabs in Adobe Acrobat and Acrobat Reader, and how to use dark mode in Adobe Acrobat and Acrobat Reader. Please see the complete list in the playlist titled How to Use Adobe Acrobat, which is linked in the description box below. All the steps we just performed are listed with images on ErinWriteWriting.com, along with all my other writing-related software tutorials to help you succeed at work and in the classroom. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials. And give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.